<laughs> and we're back. This will be episode five. Welcome to Cliffside. So we've got quite a lot going on here. This wrap or this uh, recap is mostly for YouTube viewers. But if you're watching live and you haven't seen some of the earlier episodes, here's what we're going. Here's what's going on. We're currently researching concentrated solar array. We're getting much closer to done, and uh, that will shrink the size of this solar array, solar panel, power plant thing <laughs> up here. Uh, which means that we'll be able to get rid of this one because we'll have plenty of power at that point. We also installed a processor factory and a smelting factory last game, uh, last stream, last time, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we also inc upgraded to a trade port from a couple of trade depots. But we still have to have one for our plastic and our processors. Well, however, that should change pretty quickly here because I believe I'm going to place this electronics HQ. Still want room to increase that one. I think we'll put it. Hmm. That's a tough decision here. No room up there. I think we'll just put it right over here. Because that way we'll be able to extend the trade port. And also extend this this way, so I'll maybe use up some of this side when we need to do an expansion. If I'm not mistaken, this did just enable a processor lot on here. Nope, I am mistaken. So we're, we're going to need to wait until um, we make a little bit more profit on those so we can upgrade the trading HQ so we can put our trade lots over here at the trade port. <laughs> lots of trade. In any event, we've got some nice buildings coming in down here. The center section is mostly high density. Uh, we got a few more to go up to, to high from still a few more mediums. That they're working on it. They're pretty close. But the vast majority of the center section is high density. And this lower section is now mostly high wealth through here, as well as we have some, some medium wealth in the corner here um, to help fulfill some sections that we were missing in, in our jobs. Have something down here blinking at me, and I'm not sure what it is. No, I don't know. In any event, I think we're going to put Omega in pretty soon here. Yeah, so what's blinking at me? Nothing. Omega? Maybe that's just what's blinking. But I think we are going to put Omega in, because that does fit the theme of the city pretty well. Because while we'll have some industrial up here, I think most of the industrial that we'll be using is actually just going to be our, um, our, uh, plants. Yeah, I mean, I know it's not industrial, but the smelting factory, the processing plant, we'll put in a TV plant and stuff. That That's going to be most of our industry in this city, even though it doesn't really count as industrial. It's, as far as mine share goes, it's very similar. And come to think of it, we're going to need to move this processor factory. I didn't think about it. Uh, but it's we're going to need to move it because we need to move this road in some and disconnect it from here. And I think I might just bring this like straight up and across and then put something over here like the fire department or something. All right, let's do that now because we have a bunch of money. So let's stop. Taking local deliveries of that so we can use up our processors that are there. Still got a ways to go for the next upgrade there. But long ways to go for the next upgrade there, and I don't think we're going to get it, which I'm okay with. Steady stream of cars coming up here. A good amount coming through here and getting to where they need to go. Yeah, everybody seems to be getting around pretty well. Oh, 
saying it's about time to tack another piece of sewage processing on. In fact, let's do another one here. And can we fit a seventh one? Oh, I drew that a little too close. It's my own fault. That's okay. We're, we were going to need to build a second one anyway. I'm just not sure where yet. I did kind of want to put it up here somewhere because there, there is, you know, this is where I'm going to do my water, so. Maybe I'll just end up putting it along the road here. And extending it out as needed. Oh, uh, we don't need it yet, though. I'm just trying to figure that out. Probably we'll add another water on here. Plenty in the city. And I really need this to finish. Oh, it'll finish in the morning, so. Spend some money doing that. Alright, production stopped there. I just needed to get the processors to get picked up. There we go. I'm going to pause the sitting. We're going to move this. Because I'm actually going to put both of these on and then just turn them off because we don't need them yet. Um, although it is, we have 6,000 garbage. Let's throw another truck in there, too. Because this is where I want this road to come down. As close to these as I can get it. Actually, that. Get even closer. Oh, there you go. There. Now let's see what we can fit for processors. We might not be able to fit them in there the way I want to here. Yeah. See, we would only, we'd only be able to build one there. So I think we're going to set that back to industry, and we're going to move the processor plant somewhere else. While we're at it here... This out, up to about here... And then we're going to draw this across. Actually, we may do this one first. So we can probably get a little bit smoother exit here if we go all the way from there. There we go. Put that in there. That out. That out. In fact, let's just take. And then we'll make this curve, hopefully nicely, hey. right up like that. And we can make this one curve in over here. We'll do the same thing. There. Now that should change the traffic up a little bit, but hopefully not too much. While we're here, like I was saying, I think we're going to put this fire station right along here. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. 
Because then we can put the other stuff, yeah, we can fit it on this side. This would probably do us for now. We can get rid of the smaller fire station. And since we put the electronics HQ over here, why don't we put an electronics plant right back here? Or a processor factory. I like how that fits. Yeah, I like how that fits in there. And that's D zone, what people aren't going to be able to move into. all zoned. You don't need zoning here or here. Or around the corner there. That's what we want. And in fact I don't think we want any zoning back here. Because nothing will really grow. Alright, let's let that uh, oh wait. Yeah processor plant is in. Make sure we didn't forget anything. Uh, I think we didn't. Put the new fire station in. Move the road. Those. Alright, I think we're good. Hit play. <clears throat> and as soon as we make sure that our processors are all manufacturing again, we'll start doing Omega. Still needing resources for now. Just kind of let this run for a second. Did we finish this quite yet? Nope. Class doesn't quite start. <laughs> so close! Yeah, okay, there's still a ton of worker shortage, so... I think with the way I've laid out the city, I might need to end up doing Mega Towers just to fit everything that I want to fit. research project here. I'm not going to do the solar farm. I don't need that. I don't need that for now. I 
this will improve it for the region, and I definitely am going to do this later in the region, so let's just do that for now. Take a while, and I don't really need to research anything else at the university at the moment. But we are going to pause this real quick and change this whole power plant. Let's see what will fit better. Don't think I'm gonna be able to fit one over here. Yeah, it's too far. Um, let's just build it up this way. There we go. That way it doesn't look so sparse. Train too steep, no. Oh. There we go. We build up this line here on top of road. And then we'll go ahead and demolish that other one here. Because we do not need it. And we'll be out of power for just a moment. There we go. Now it's pumping. Alright, so it says we only have 26. Let's add a few more here. Actually, you know what? Let's just max this out. That actually fits perfectly. Because I think I can fit... Yeah, I should definitely be able to fit a high-density building back here, too. Perfect. That. And this doesn't need to be zoned. A little bit more industrial back, which we definitely need, as per our meters here, what are you going to call them? Demand graph. This one still doesn't have output. Should be getting alloy. Yeah, there we go. Now it's getting to be close to time for Omega. So I think we're going to end up taking out one of these ore mines. Maybe even both of them eventually here. Because we are mining a good amount of ore. But it's not worth very much money. And we can totally import it to do our own smelting anyway. Which we may end up getting rid of the smelting factory in the end, because I don't need it. Put some backup going on over here. Looks like it's starting to work its way out, though. Yeah, it seems to be starting to flow pretty good.
So, so I'm still trying to decide here. Let's take out this ore mine. We'll flatten this road. You know, we'll, we'll not make this a tunnel anymore, and we'll put uh, more industrial on that side. And that'll free up some workers too. All right, you know what, let's just take this smelting factory out, too. And we'll take this ore mine out. We're not gonna, we're not gonna do any more mining or anything in this city. I have decided. We're gonna move that fire station just a little bit here. for the road and then we'll put the fire station back in Now we just kind of wasted a bunch of money moving this, but that's okay. Because this is going to be our Omega factory, I think. We're going to put in a couple nice Omega factories back here. Let's rezone some of this. see where Omega factories fit. So we should be able to actually fit them back to back here and have still extra room. And I think we're going to produce... I think we should put our regular Omega factory here. Let's see. One, two, three, five, six. Should be correct. Fit one in there? Yeah. I'm going to put one on either side here. Oh. Got a dip in the road here. I gotta fix. Wasting money just because I want things not lumpy. Um, I don't think, yeah, we can't do our oil here, but we can change this to export that and import that. And then over here, we'll put our oil. Until we can do it a different way. That should work. Oh, we can fill this out. And this is the Omega headquarters is going to go over here. So that way we kind of have all of our headquarters together except for the, the processors back there. But I think it looks better back there. All right. I should start making a good amount of money on Omega as soon as it gets going here. Uh, 
Oh, good. We have this going up to high density. Obviously, I'm going to have to play with these a little bit to get them to fit next to the corner and, and everything, but a little bit later when I feel like tweaking population will do that. So once we sell all of our coal, we can delete that one and put a different, uh, different thing there. I think we're going to add a second processor plant, or a processor thing here, so we can help sell more of it. There we go, producing Omega. Of course they need some oil, which should be imported here shortly. We're importing it, good. We're great on power, great on water, great on sewer. Still early, so they're still picking up garbage. No buildings burned down. No deaths. Only one crime, which is okay. Good amount of people getting educated. And we have a few more riders for our, our buses. That's good. Everything's going along swimmingly. Oh, and I forgot, we need to be importing alloy now. As long as, yeah, coal's gone, we'll demolish that. There's the Omega Co. Headquarters. Our base this way. There we go. And the alloy should be coming in. Yeah, we have all of our alloy. This one's gonna have a little bit of trouble keeping oil for a little while. Because we gotta import so much of it. As soon as we can, we're gonna add an oil one to the trade port here and we'll be great. Oh, we can already upgrade. Okay. First thing I always do is put down the robotics division. Oh, we need 20 grand for that, because I forgot we're importing a lot of stuff right now. <laughs> Let's let our money get up a little bit. And we'll put the, uh... We'll put the, uh... Robotics division down. And then we'll add a, uh, an Omega processor, or an Omega drone factory right back here. start making money back in a minute here. Right. Exporting stuff there. All right. Let's put this robotics division down. other plant back here. Uh, how much are these? Oh, 30. Right. Just gotta wait a little bit longer.
I suppose we should wait just a little bit here to let our trading even itself out. It looks like our Omega's coming along really nicely. It's 14 grand already. We've just started it. Oh, I'm building fire down here. <laughs> my wife texted me again. I, I don't know if you guys can hear that through the mic, but... <laughs> talking, but at least you have some game music to keep you company. <laughs> so we have plenty of money now to put in our processor factory, or our uh, drone factory. There we go. I think we'll do it that way we can do one on each side. Last one. Oh, it's 60. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> How did I not ever get that? <laughs> Whatever. Ah, now we can put our other drone assembly line on. There. As soon as it hires some people, start making some drones. Which actually, we can take out this one and this one. Place them with drone garages. Oh, of course, I didn't save up enough for that. So let's just take out a bond. Clap a couple of these. enough Omega. We will work on that. And it looks like we got some nice futurization going on down here. See all the neon signs. Mid-office. <laughs> it's not obvious. Hospital's here for now. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it there. I'm debating moving it over here, but then I have to move the police station too, so I'm not sure. Yet. Leave it for now. Um, we will put a couple drones in though. And the diagnostic. Uh, actually, we need to wait. <laughs> I don't have the money. 
I think we're going to need to put in another processor plant too when we get the money. No shop, but is there, do we have a lot of extra goods? We do. Let's see what wealth level that area is. So that's some medium wealth. So I think let's let's take half of this out. And just grow it as residential. Hello, Abdullah. Thank you for watching the stream. Hope you enjoy. So researching well. Slowly climbing our way towards our next upgrade. Everybody's producing good amounts. Yeah, out of oil again. I need to, I really need to add one on here as soon as I can. But I think I'm going to need to put in another processor plant so I can make enough money to, <laughs> to upgrade the HQ again. Somebody picking up some oil for it. Look at that one that we lost for because they didn't have enough Omega. Should be getting that fixed soon here. Cop Slayer, I will be making another city soon. Uh, this is the first city in this region, so um, it's kind of our going to be our seed city, so we're working on getting everything going for it. I know it looks desperate right now with the money situation, but I think we're going to be fine. Got a lot of these that are upgrading to Omega. I really need to get oil imported a lot faster is the problem. It's not importing like anything fast enough. Which is odd because it usually isn't like that. It's not like we have backups in our city. I mean, they're able to import just easily and not, you know, I mean, perfectly easily. I suppose it's just slow for the moment. Let's take out a bond here so we don't accidentally go bankrupt. I think we might have been running a little bit too close to our margin, so yeah, we'll see we weren't able to um, spend enough to keep everything imported. So once we have everything kind of stocked up in here, it should go a little bit smoother, hopefully. Yeah, 
Losing one doesn't awesome. fall. See, we've evened out, <clears throat> starting to make quite a bit more money here. And just let it run for a minute longer, and we should be good to go. I definitely need to add another processor factory on. I think that's going to help us increase our profits, um, as well as be able to supply the... Um, both the drone factory, the TV plant when I put that in, and the computers plant when I put that in. Well, it looks like everybody is very happy. Which means we should be able to upgrade our mayor's mansion again soon. Thinking we're just going to put the other processor factory right in this square. And we can pay off one of these. Let's pay off the cheap one. Help increase our hourly profits. These are all finally upgrading to high density, which is good. A few more people in the city. We are over 100 grand now for people. Still got to save up enough money for another processor plant, so it might be just a minute. For everyone watching live, um, today I'm cutting my streaming into our segments because I'm publishing these to YouTube as well and um, creating hour-long highlights on uh, on Twitch. I realize that's a long time for a highlight to be, but it's uh, it works better uh, the way that I'm doing it as sort of episodes rather than necessarily highlighted segments of, of gameplay. So. If you want to catch up, you can always watch the highlights, or you can check out my YouTube channel. I've got uh, everything posted up there. Uh, in fact, my earlier one today is going up there, so in about 15 minutes or so, I'm going to cut the stream for a minute, and then restart, and start episode... it'll be episode 6 at that point. Money's starting to roll in pretty good now. Okay, have another one of these. People are still very happy. Yeah, 
everything seems to be running fairly smooth. Got a few slow Omega deliveries. It's okay though. That will fix itself when we get our oil plant over here. Or our oil uh, uh, trade lot. I don't think we even need the Metals HQ here anymore. I like the way it looks, but I think I'd rather have the industrial up there. Hmm. Or maybe that's where we'll put we'll put our other processor plant right over here. Yeah, let's do that actually. Let's put our processor plant right here. And then we can take let's leave the, the metals HQ for the moment. Um, we can actually just turn it off because we don't need it to cost us money or use up jobs. But is that going to no we still have access to all of our stuff. Oh, that's right, because I have the one from the trade HQ. Good. Oh. Still fluctuating a bit in our profits, uh, just to make sure we keep everything in. We're going to wait a minute. So we're not producing the full amount of Omega that we can because we keep running out of oil and such. <clears throat> that will fix itself shortly. As soon as we get enough money, uh, enough, you know, per, per day profits for trading, we'll be able to uh, add on something to the trade HQ. I'm not, I think we're going to do... Uh, actually, I'm not sure which one we're going to do first. Probably we'll do the petroleum one first so we can import plastics and oil at the trade port um, and then we'll save the electronics one for later because we can still export electronics and store the you know processors for the drone factory at a trade depot for now We're finally starting to have enough money to be able to build this other processor plant here. So let's do that. Probably will look, probably do just fine right there. Save up some more money for that. It's always interesting when you're not playing in sandbox mode. You have that added fear of going broke. <laughs> Another upgrade to our mayor's mansion. Guard post in. And we can finish this off. We'll just wait a little bit and we'll be making much more money. Oh, 
And once we make enough profit per month or day or whatever they, they choose to call it in here, daily profit, I guess, we'll be able to uh, do an add-on to the trading HQ and do an add-on to the electronics HQ and start building TVs. At which point we'll be able to uh, fire up the arcology, helping to alleviate some of our population problems. But the Omega is pro progressing nicely. We're at 18,000 an hour at the moment. And of course, everybody's still very happy, so we're able to upgrade our mayor's mansion for a while here. Yep, we're going to put the Arcology here, and then I think uh, this one's going to have the Space Center, and this one's going to have the Airport. Should be fun. That's why I'm researching the Space Center here. I don't need it right now, but I also didn't need any of the other uh, research, so I'll research it for now and have it available when we get over to the other area. We're almost at 25,000 to be able to add another one on here. And I think, I mean, obviously we're going to add the Commerce Division, but I think it will. Yeah, it gives me crude oil at the trade port, which would be good. stuff that's blocking. And we'll get rid of our metals HQ for now and put in some more commercial. Those are going to be taking up probably this section with a... Uh, hmm, yeah, probably this section with um, another TV plant or something to that effect. how we have some good um, higher tech industrial coming in. City's still going to be polluted up here and I don't, that's fine. I'm perfectly fine with that. But um, it's just good to not have them contribute as much pollution. Now see, I hate this. This has not enough room to increase density, but I'm pretty darn sure it's because of these little things on the side. And I bet if I take them out, this thing goes up to high density pretty quick. Well, it still says not enough room to increase density, but there should be. It looks like there's enough room. I just don't understand why these little extra pieces stop something from expanding. They look fine. I, I mean, I like them. The idea of them is great being that they're, you know, little fillers to help make things not look as sparse, but it doesn't <clears throat> it doesn't make sense that they stop something from upgrading. When increasing density, not upgrading, whatever you want to call it. Getting much better Omega production rates. Let's 
still need, we need more plastic to be imported. Still nowhere near our two million trade profit. Yeah, see, they now they now increase the high density. It makes no sense. Debating on turning this into um, a mega tower. It would help us fill out our population, especially the low wealth stuff, a lot better because we still have a lot of low wealth jobs. Maybe we will build one right here. I definitely need to figure out a way to get these to increase. I, I think maybe I'll do this little trick. I, I don't really have enough money yet. And they look like they're full anyway, so... I'm going to say the little trick that I was going to use was to stop exporting for a little bit, save up until midnight, and then start exporting, and that helps give you a little boost if you're if you're close to, to one of the levels but you're not quite over it. That'll help boost you over over an upgrade level. our traffic here. Six thirty and hardly any traffic to be had. Wow. Everyone's getting where they need to go super easily. Oh there we go, there's a little bit of traffic in here. I was gonna say that was that was too easy. <laughs> This seems to all be flowing very nicely now. Used to be a problem where people would get backed up here trying to get to school. Uh, once I added this lower section in here, though, that went right away because they could it stopped it stopped backing people up in this particular section, and they were able to get out, uh, you know, in another way. Nope. All right. Low on drones for a second. <laughs> Hey, there's the upgrade for that. We put our crude oil here uh, and import it. Oh, and I think we can put processors over here now too, can't we? That's handy. There we go. Which means we can take this one, tell it to stop taking local deliveries on those, and we can turn it into just plastic. And as soon as we sell off the rest of these uh, processors, we'll you know, increase the plastic there. We had a hazmat fire. Good to know we're responding very quickly. And there we go. Now we have plenty of oil there. Which should help keep this stock nicely. Yes. And we'll get this closer to the 9600 that we're possibly able to create per day. Oh, and we need to tell this to export extra processors, because we have two pro processor plants, so we're definitely going to be having extra.
Ooh, this one. Yep, that one's empty. Place it with plastic. box of uh, processors to get out of there and then we'll be able to we'll be done with that area Sell the processors. There we go. Now we'll be importing plastic here until we are able to add on a um, the the petroleum division, and then we can put plastic up here. Producing all of our drones there, which is excellent. Alright. Everything's coming along very nicely there. We're starting to make a good amount per month. Or day per, per 24 hours, whatever. We still have a bit of traffic here. I was hoping drones would help that out, but I guess people do still have to get to work and such. Well, in any event, looks like uh, we're at our hour mark for this episode. If you're watching live, go ahead and stay tuned. I will uh, restart the stream shortly here. I'm just going to publish this hour-long section of it video. This will be the end of episode 5. Thanks for watching. If you like the live stream, go ahead and subscribe to me on Twitch. And uh, if you want to watch some of the previous stuff, you can check out my YouTube channel. Uh, it's just youtube.com slash tinbeck, just like twitch.tv slash tinbeck. So uh, if you have comments to put on those videos, go ahead and do. I, uh, I always read them, so I will see the live stream in a moment, and I will see the YouTube viewers in the future. It's magic like that. <laughs>